hello hello dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla so gemini's that this is your weekly reading and again guys these are general readings so only take whatever applies in your own personal life um there's a connection that you feel this passion this burning passion with and and it's almost like you feel it you see it um others people can sense it and feel it um but there is this almost this gemini this you wanting to go and give a hundred percent of yourself to this connection and part of you also wants to like retract from it um guys you guys know i sit in a stability bowl and for some reason today is just one of those days where the ball is making like mad noise um <laughs> A socks on that's probably why anyways um moving forward so again gemini you guys definitely um feel um very passionate about somebody it's like it's almost like you you tend to feel when you're around this person like you may be playing with fire and there but there's no fear here of getting burned right or um you accept or you are willing to accept getting burned by this person let's just put it this way because again it, it, it's just <sighs> the way this person makes you feel it's like it makes it makes you feel like a little girl a little boy all over again right like that first puppy love that that innocent type of love but it's almost like there's like this fire burning behind it that is just passion it's an, an, an undeniable passion that the two of you feel for each other and I do feel, Gemini, that some of you have been holding back. I feel that both of you kind of have been holding back, um, um, not giving 100% or not going in 100% because there were things outside of this connection that needed to be resolved before coming together. But it's almost like somebody has made a decision to cut ties with whatever it was in their past that was preventing the two of you from coming together, whether that was finalizing like a divorce or finally moving out or finally moving closer to you whatever 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 issue or whatever it was that was stopping the two of you from coming together has been dealt with let's put it this way so that the two of you can come into union and again it's going to be very passionate it's going to be very fiery and it's it's, it's almost like you're excited um and so is this person and the two of you are really just focused on on just being together like just being together and not just in a sexual way, but just being together, being able to be in a connection together, being able to grow together, being able to just be together. I don't know if that makes sense. And it's definitely this, 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 this passionate or sexual energy that is sensed um, by other people when the two of you are, are like in the same room or are together. It's like other people can see the the passion between the two of you the other people can see the love between the two of you but there is, is definitely something that um it may scare you a little but it's again it's like you're willing to get burned by the fire just to be with this person let's go ahead and see what is the advice for gemini's what is the advice for gemini's universe we are all just stardust spaceship and the tree so with the universe we have number 31 we are just stardust number 43 the spaceship don't be afraid to sing and then number 18, the tree, let them go. And I feel, well, I'm going to start off with this one. And the reason why, because I don't feel that it's somebody that you need to let go. I feel that it's a fear of expressing your passion or your love for this person openly and freely that you need to let go of. It's almost like you have been limiting or restricting yourself when it comes to showing your passion or your love for this person. So now we have definitely um, the universe and the spaceship. So there's definitely a space here of allowing yourself to be free when it comes to sexual endovers 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 i can't say the word we'll just blame it on the narcolepsy for now but when it comes to you being sexual when it comes to you just being yourself there is definitely a sense here of owning who you are and allowing yourself to see the beauty in yourself right allowing yourself to be comfortable enough with this person not just on a day-to-day -day, but also in the bedroom um and that's definitely coming in um for some of you it, it this 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 kind of intimacy um issue that you're having may be because you haven't been with somebody intimately or sexually for a very long time so there is a little hesitation there right um 
So again, it's you need to allow yourself to be free. Let go of that fear that may be stopping you from pursuing this passion um, or this desire and just allow yourself to go ahead and enjoy and embrace it. Remember, we are all just stardust, right? We are all here to feel... Um, the human experience and um learn from whatever experiences we go through um well gemini's that is all that i have for you for this week as always guys thank you for all the love and support thank you for liking sharing and subscribing to the channel as well as donating if you would like a private reading the link to my website is down below in the description as well as the links to the gift cards that are now available you can also follow me on instagram facebook and patreon if you would like to those links are down below in the description i'm losing my voice <coughs> excuse me guys <laughs> sending every single one of you love strength and blessing guys take care love you all Mwah. bye bye